our soul a good one. For the God, for the mighty, for the Lord, have mercy on us. For the God, for the mighty, for the Lord, have mercy on us. For the God, for the mighty, for the Lord, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, deliver us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit me alone for me for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, Lord, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. And give us not the temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, thy the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. For the mercy, 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 for the mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. How well does thy dwelling, O Lord of hosts? My soul longs and faints for the course of the Lord. My heart and my flesh are rejoicing in the living God. Even the sparrow has found herself a home and a swallow and nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even my uncle is a Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in my house, and the ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee, for he has set sins in his heart. The valley of tears, and the place of tears appointed. The lawgiver shall grant their blessing. They shall go from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, our friend is my prayer. Give me, O God of Jacob, O God our defender, behold, and look upon the face of thy anointed one. For better is one day in thy course than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in dense of sinners. For the Lord loves mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory. The Lord shall not behold good things from those who walk without God. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that lives in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast come back to the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven me and me forgive thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast subdued thy land. Thou hast turned back from my fierce anger. Restore us, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Unto ages wilt thou be angry with us. Who wilt thou stretch out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and give us life. Thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what the Lord God will speak concerning me, for he will speak peace to his people, to his saints, and to them that turn their hearts unto him. Surely the salvation is near unto those who fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth has sprung up out of the earth, and righteousness has looked down from heaven. The Lord will give what is good in our land, shall yield his fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. And find my name, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for I am Lord me. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopes in me. Have mercy on me, O God, for unto me will I cry for the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto me will I lift up my soul. For thou, O Lord, good in me, and abundant in mercy unto all who call upon thee. Give your Lord unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of my affliction, that I cry unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any one such unto thy works. All the nations of now and shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and wickedest wonders, thou art our God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that every fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord, my God, upon my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For thy mercy is great upon me, and now I have delivered my soul from the men of those days. O God, transgress and ever speak unto me, and the assembly of the mighty have sought after my soul, and they have not set me before their eyes. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long suffering and abundant of mercy and truth. Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength to thy child and save the son of thy handmaid. For it be a sign of the good of them that hate thee, save thee, put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast helped me and comforted me. For it be a sign of the good of them that hate thee, save thee, put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast helped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By a flood of tears you made the desert fertile, and your longings for God brought forth fruits and fruits. By the radiance of miracles you illumined the whole universe. Our Father in heaven, pray for the prayer of Christ God to save our souls, now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. For that one for our sakes was born of the virgin and did suffer crucifixion of good ones, and did spoil death by death, and has gotten his reveal of resurrection. Despite the seven staffs created in thy hand, show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one, who received the faith of us before thee, praying for us. Save thy despair, people, O our Savior. Give us not up utterly for thy name's sake, neither break thy covenant, nor cause thy mercy to depart from us. For the sake of Abraham, thy beloved, and for the sake of Isaac, thy servant, and the sake of Israel, thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. 
Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit to heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Ever anticipating the hour of judgment, we will sit bitterly and never will ever. Through your deeds, you were a teacher by example. Therefore, universal Father, you brought us lawful through repentance.
thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Look upon thy servants, thine inheritance, for to thee the fearful judge. For yet love us mankind, and thy servants bow their heads and submissively incline their necks. Awaiting not help from men, but entreating their mercy, and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, and from vain thoughts, and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the mind of thy kingdom, of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever into ages of ages.
defend us from our sins, O Master, for our transgressions, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. <coughs> Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to each of the Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Thank you. 
to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Amen. May Christ, your true God, for the prayers of his most pure mother, of the Holy Glorious Honorable Apostles of our Father among the Saints, Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Mine, Nicaea, and of the Venerable Ephraim the Syrian, and of the Venerable Isaac the Syrian, Bishop of Nineveh, whose memory we keep this day, and of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, the Protectress of this Holy City, and of this community, and of all the Saints, have mercy on us, and save us free as good, and loves mankind. Uh, most of the 
more of the genres of scripture than what you get in later where we are comparing and contrasting what does Genesis say, what does First Kings say, what is you know, Samuel, how do we make this all jive together? Uh, they, the way in which he makes all of that sing together is a lot more image-based. It's not just about ideas, but it's when he thinks of a tree, he sees tree in Genesis, he sees then this tree goes all the way up to the cross of our Lord, and, and it goes then to the book of Revelation, and it can go, you know, to the oak of Mamre, where uh, Abraham uh, was hospitable to the three angelic visitors, or God himself. So we have, um, with Ephraim, he takes all of these images and he makes them sing for us. He makes them also uh, able to then penetrate into the depths of our hearts. So he's penetrated the depths of scripture in his understanding and his hymnody, but he also then is able to plumb the depths of our hearts to show us the places that darkness is still uh, has its hold and the ways in which we need to turn in repentance to our Lord. Ephraim and Isaac uh, are both highly valued, especially in monastic circles. Isaac, to shift away from Ephraim, Isaac uh, was more of a solitary. Uh, Ephraim would, uh, he would go around actually put some of his uh, hymnody, actually have a group of women sing his hymns uh, for people to be able to be uh, encouraged by, and they would have communities that they would sing the, the hymns that he wrote. Isaac was, even though he's known as a bishop, from what I recall, he didn't serve very long as a bishop and was very not interested in the administrative side of things. Uh, you'll note that this is actually a theme in many of the fathers. Gregory the Theologian is another one of these where he basically said, you know, I just want to basically write my poetry and contemplate God. I really don't want to have anything to do with the Synod of Bishops and, like, all of that stuff in the, the uh, capital. So please leave me out of it. Um, Isaac is the same where he flees, and we have the ascetical homilies of Isaac. And this is one of the great treasures of uh, the church. Something to be read with some guidance, but something also that has... Uh, great insights into uh, the depths of God's love and mercy for us, but also the depths of repentance that we need uh, to seek out with humility and reliance fully upon the grace of God. So we commemorate two uh, Syrian um, fathers of the church who shone forth in the ascetic life, who left us great theological works uh, to help us in our path towards God. So may they intercede for us, may their works encourage us to a deeper repentance and a greater joy that we find in the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tomorrow morning we will have the Divine Liturgy at 7 uh, in the morning. Uh, this weekend we will have the regular schedule uh, Great Vespers, and then Hours in Divine Liturgy. Um, this Saturday is also, I believe, the, if I remember correctly, the streaming starts at 3, and now I'm all of a sudden realizing that I have a calendar skip, uh, conflict that I'm going to have to resolve <laughs> this evening. Uh, 2? Two? 2. Okay. Maybe I won't have to. But... Uh, Whichever it is, check the email. It should be there. Um, if you're able to join us here in the hall, uh, have an Eventbrite for you to sign up if you'd like to join us. Um, if not, that's fine. We will be discussing uh, the lecture from Roger Ayer for the Shimon Lecture for the Seminary uh, next Thursday. Um, so if you're not able to join us for that, then we please join us uh, over Zoom. There will be a link that will be sent out for us to be able to discuss um, his talk, and yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, this evening, in about 15 minutes, the Zoom Bible study will begin, where we actually got through the first chapter, and we're in the second chapter. 
we should have not, I should not have had any doubt that Reed would be able to move us right along. Um, are there any other announcements? I know I forgot because I wrote down Subdeacon uh, Patrick, um, what was his, I didn't know him, so, oh, Cardi, uh, who passed away just the day or two ago uh, from uh, uh, complications from COVID. He was a member here and then was a member at St. Nectarios. Um, I wrote him down, but I put him in the living, and then I didn't, I realized that as soon as I got past the departed into the living, so, uh, Mayor Culpa, uh, we'll be remembering him, um, especially uh, at the liturgy of the Sunday, and to keep him in your prayers as he uh, transitions from this life to the next life. Mm. Are there any other announcements? Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Christ. Glory to Christ. <laughs>